Castle in trouble. Going backward, throws high, and it's incomplete. Keith Brooking out there to make the play. Jamal Charles, the intended receiver, and what a good job by the Dallas defense. Two tight ends, the only receiver, Miles Austin, and Choice bounces it to the edge to Shard Choice. Every time he's touched it today, he's made a dip. Romo throws and completes to Austin. What a day. No flags on the field. He can fly on home. Set up the middle. Here he goes. Cuts to his right. Going all the way. Oh. To the 30. To the 40. He's got two men to beat. To the 40. To the 30. To the 20. To the 10. The 5. Touchdown. Unbelievable. Tony Dorsett is in the record books. 99 yards. But the Cowboys were 50 yards away, 35 seconds left to play. 50 yards and 35 seconds away from extinction for the Dallas Cowboys. Dallas and their unheralded rookie had done the impossible, and an entire stadium of 63,243 went wild. Still 28 seconds left, and as everyone knew, anything could happen. The number 75, Jethro Pugh, separated Kilmer from the ball. The number 79, Harvey Martin, recovered it, and the Redskins were dead. Though it had been the tried and true doomsday defense that had officially ended it, the game belonged to a youngster playing in his very first game. Clint Longley, with his incredible passing performance, had captured the fancy of a packed stadium and a national television audience, and had plunged his team right back in the thick of playoff possibilities. Second down and goal from the eight. Everybody gasped in the stadium. I've never seen so many people coming in and out. They, some of them have come back and forth twice. It is no wonder that they wind up with not enough or too many people on the field from time to time. Wilson now goes out. And I think they have the correct contingent. They are on second down and goal from the eight. Staubach lines up under center this time with Springs and Pearson behind him. 
throws. Tony Hill got it. Touchdown, Dallas. And now the extra point. Don't forget what's coming. And don't forget either that Washington still has two timeouts left. Mosley has made a field goal from the 53-yard line. That's his longest of this year. Heisman throws. He's got at the 41. Game is over. Game is over. They use the five seconds. The game is over. A completed pass. Wait a minute. The school board clock says the game is over. It may not be. They may have one second left to play. There are a lot of people down uh, walking around on the field that are not players. The argument still goes on. The school board clock showed that the game was over and it is. Dallas, 35. Washington, 34. At that point, we were so happy because we realized what had happened. We were going to be champs. The Cowboys are back on top of the mountain now. They were there in the 70s, fell off in the 80s. They're back on top now, and they should stay there a while. Wow. What a ride it's been. Troy Aikman's the MVP. Jimmy Johnson's taking his team from the absolute worst to the absolute best in four years. And Dallas, your Cowboys are the champions. We needed to win this game against the Giants in order to secure home field advantage and secure that bye week. We had a lot of guys hurt. We needed to recover and getting a week off before uh, the playoffs started was vital to our team. The Giants didn't make it easy. Right before the half, I get a handoff, cut on the right side, and I'm off to the races. I'm not the fastest guy in the world, I'm not the biggest guy in the world, but I'm running. And Ray Jackson come up on my left side, grab me, ride me down to the ground, and instant pain. Something happened in my shoulder that I never felt before. Smith is down! Emmett Smith is down at the Giants 30. They take me to the locker room before the half. They take x-rays of my shoulder and they recognize that I have a separated shoulder. And they get very creative. They get a set of knee, uh, knee pads that you normally put in your pants. They tape them together and they kind of cut a hole in the middle of them and they place it up on my shoulder and tape it to my shoulder. Put, put my shoulder pads back on and, and they say, um, now you're going to have some discomfort. <laughs> In the second half, Emmett carried the Cowboys in a moment that defined a team season and a player's career. It was just a different kind of pain. And every time I got hit, every time I hit the turf, all I could hear, it's just cracks just happening all in my chest and in my shoulder. That's what it sounded like. I'm sitting out on the football field saying to myself, no pain. No pain. I'm just talking to myself, no pain. And tears are rolling out my eyes. I'm just trying to convince myself that there's no pain. But I'm feeling all the pain. In overtime, Emmett pushed the Cowboys into field goal range. To see him fight through the pain that he had inspired us all. We'll never forget the day Emmett Smith ran 32 times for 170 yards and caught 10 balls for 62 and did most of it with one arm. Put 
complete. The pass to Harper. Harper off to the races. They're going to run him down, however. To Kelvin Martin, touchdown. Pass is picked off by Washington. And the Cowboys advance to the Super Bowl. Number 74 offered the game's signature play. Early in the fourth quarter, the Cowboys had a three touchdown lead. The final minutes were a coronation and a chance for reflection. Long time. Long time. Long time. Love it. Woo! Real proud of you. I was, I was crying for you. I wasn't so much better. Well, Nothing we could say. I didn't want to say anything because I've been there before. Congratulations. I've been arrested up. Way to go, Walt. Way to go. Thank proud you. for you. Thank you so proud for you. Thank you. What do you think, Coach? I think it's pretty nice. Very good. Congratulations. I'm really happy for you. For the Cowboys and their fans, the final seconds were counted down like a New Year's celebration. I remember Coach Landry being lifted off the shoulders of the players coming off the field. I still have, have that picture of him smiling. Seconds to try to. 